Hello and welcome to season two, episode seventeen of the PSR podcast. Here with me today is fellow host Tucker Lirat. Hello. And special guest, New Amber. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you both? Doing alright today. I am doing quite good today, actually. Very good to hear. Okay, so we have a couple of things before we get into the noted run, so Tucker, I will let you go through that. Yep, so there's been a couple of general changes, mainly regarding some runs in uh, the Switch games on the leaderboards. So in BDSP, there is now a separation for music on and music off subcategories, as well as uh, the turbo and non-turbo has been combined into just like a language separation, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. like for English, you see no turbo and uh, turbo categories. So yeah, um, that somehow makes me the world record holder for music on no turbo. So please submit your run so that you can bot me for free. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, also for PLA, um, there's also been a turbo and non-turbo uh, recombination for that leaderboard as well. I think it's just a variable now. Yes, Instead indeed. of a subcategory. Yes, it is indeed. So... Okay, you also have the, the first noted run. <laughs> yeah. So, this is my 159.13 in our gold any percent. It's a new world record. Um, it was the longest standing world record before I set this, set this time. It was like four years and seven months old. So, you might imagine that it's pretty difficult time to beat, but... I honestly felt the other way because of all the things that we found since that record has been set. It honestly kind of carried this run because I just had like free time saves and pickups everywhere compared to record. I was able to play a lot safer and also incorporate new strats, which involve like a new minute path and a new way to get Raikou, which is just the radio minute that we've seen in recent years for uh, manipulating Raikou. Before, you would just do like, you know, do, try to get like encounters and then figure out what frame that you're on. But this time, you can uh, just use the radio card, which means that you can't do the two tweaks in Goldenrod because you have to go to um, the, what do you even call it? Oh, the radio tower to get the radio card. So overall that loses that actually like loses time compared to a really good um encounter mid at Faraiku, but it's just a lot less risky and allows you to get on runs more and not get screwed over when you get to Raikou. But um I guess we can talk about some of the blemishes on my run because everybody wants to know that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, blemishes. Time losses. Let's go. So um, right before Union Cave, I dropped Minib at a pretty crucial part. Because by dropping Minib right there, I am not able to pass the two spinners in Union Cave and the one after. So all the all three spinners with Minip. And um I lost time to that. I had to also use the repels and then also pick up repels because money is quite tight and I couldn't afford to spend spend extra money on repels without like picking up extra items to buy, uh, buy and sell and yeah so basically i had to back it up by picking up extra repels and using all those extra repels costed time and i also got like an extra encounter in soulpoke well so losing mid up there actually costed like upwards of 30 seconds in the in the run which is quite bad um but it is what it is i just have to be better about that um, other than that, the, the early game wasn't too bad. The Faulkner fight was, like, decent. I wouldn't say that any of the runs were, or any of the fights were that bad, because honestly, the nature of this category, if you're not winning the fights, then you're, like, or if you're not getting good fights, then you might not be winning them at all, because you just have to hit Fire Blast or, you know, 
hit ranges and not die. As as long as you're a uh, Cyndaquil or Quilava. And um Yeah, I mean just like a honest like since probably nobody has seen this category in quite a while. Like this category is full of fights that you can just die to straight up. Even as you get even once you get Raikou, like a lot of the fights are just very scary. Um, especially after Morty. Because the whole route up to Victory Road, you can die there. And the rival fight, you can die. Like Um, Koga, Bruno, Karen, Lance, all those fights you can die to. Especially Lance. Lance is such a huge gatekeeper in this category. I think I calc the odds and it was like actually unfavored to win the Lance fight. Considering that you have to set up for five turns with Reflect Up. And then also hit six Thunders in a row that are 93% accurate after an X-Ac. So all that chained together is like 48% to happen. So it's unfavored to win each Lance fight. But this run, as you can imagine, got through all that. Um, so yeah, getting a, getting a run past E4 is a luxury in this category. Like, if you're past E4, then you should be able to finish the run. But my previous PB that did so, um, just simply, like, messed up execution at the blue and red fight. Because those fights are battle RNG minute, and... If you're not hitting those battle RNG minutes, then you're basically losing like 50 seconds at a time. And my previous PP missed minute four times on blue. Like it, I just cracked under the pressure. Um, but yeah, this run, this run got both blue and red minutes first try. So didn't, didn't lose, but crap ton of time. I managed to clutch up there and, um, I actually didn't realize that I was getting record until like midway through the red fight. Like I, I, I couldn't really process like what my pace was going to be like because it's pretty unpredictable. Um, up until you actually see like what kind of fight that you're manipulating. And uh, yeah, like uh, on like Snorlax, I was like, oh my god, this is actually record. I could not believe it because you know I dropped mid up so early. I had so many time losses here and there that um, I really wasn't expecting this time to be record also that sounds like it's probably better realistically like not having like pressure throughout like an earlier like, earlier part of the run like you said with this battle minute uh, battle energy minutes if you're realizing your own record pace and you've got to hit them yeah that pressure, absolutely I feel like that would be a lot worse than realizing oh i am on the final five fighting snorlax at this point and i'm actually realizing one more record pace yeah, it's it's quite a different like change of pace as to what I'm used to playing. It it seems like the the final part of the run is like before you even get to blue and red. Like you have to just beat Lance, and then from there it's just like you're playing the game, and all you have to do is hit the hit the two minutes, and you're good. Like there's obviously a lot of variance between like blue and red because you can't really control what you hit you have to just like hope that you get a fast fight or you know even like a decent fight because you know there's it, it's surely going to get to a point where you need to hit like a good blue or red fight which is just like you know whatever it's like human rng you, you have to hit a good frame out of like only a handful of them and that's just like whatever you roll you get but yeah, honestly, the journey, the journey for this category was pretty strange. As you can see from my, from my attempt count, fifty-seven is not a lot of attempts for for a category, and no. to get record in fifty-seven attempts is very, very like it's very lucky that I was able to finish. You know, even get that many runs that far. I think I finished like five runs of this category, which can be like quite the challenge for some people. Um, like, I, I think Skoa, Skoa Gogo, -Go, has like 200 plus attempts of this category, and he's only finished one run. And that's simply because, like, you know, you, you never know which of your runs are going to get past um, the Johto section. But I was very lucky enough to not die anywhere that many times. Like, I don't think I've died to Whitney before. 
which is just an, an insane like stroke of luck. But yeah, grateful that I was able to get runs past. And um, honestly, I felt pretty. <laughs> I felt pretty ashamed that I was getting such good luck. But uh, at least I, I was managed. I managed to pull out a record here. Um, my any percent luck is really incredible. Honestly. You should, you should never feel bad about having good luck. <laughs> like, I still it, rarely ha it rarely happens in Pokemon Speedrun. you got to embrace the moment more than anything. But honestly, like, since I was getting on those runs, right, I, I got those in-run experiences. Like, mm. definitely helped me improve at a faster rate than I really should have. Like, honestly, before this run, um, I think it was, like, two or four days ago b b since... Like before doing this run, I was like still learning things like what, what, um, what I should be doing in like late game scenarios. Like in this run, this run was like the, the first run since like I realized if you're at full HP after blue, you do not have to try to heal. Like, please do not try to heal. And it came up in this run. So I was very lucky enough that I built up enough knowledge to, you know, be at world record contention status and actually just like do everything that I knew to do, despite like not having very much practice at all. I I just need to see it like one time and then execute everything. But yeah, um, very very glad that my any percent uh any percent runs have gone like that, and um, yeah, it's pretty pretty lucky to pretty lucky to get this run. Honestly, oh um. One thing I should mention is like I at the start of playing any percent, like I had such trouble um like getting around the bike shop call here. Because the bike shop call, if it calls you at a really bad time, like for example, while you're while you're doing uh, the tweaks in new bark, then it'll call you and then it'll reload the area. So then you have to like redo the tweaks. So I was like, oh my god, this like this sucks. Like I cannot control the bike shop. And I just like had to look into the mechanics of it and I figured out like a sort of like a way to get around it. And it's basically just like shifting up all your menus so that you can like take steps earlier. So that the bike shop is able to call you at, at an earlier spot. So you see right here that um, after this huge menu that I'm able to get the bike shop to call me right after this menu and not during the tweak. So that's like my one contribution to this category honestly like i'm so, i'm so like i have to be very thankful for uh the people that have worked on this category with over the past year like skoa jimmy march um those guys have like revitalized this category and honestly if they didn't do anything for this category then it would still be you know the old oldest record at last because nobody's really been interested in this category but yeah um as for where i stand with this category i'm definitely wanting to improve this time but i just haven't had the time recently because you know i'm kind of busy have have to go back to campus soon um tomorrow even so but yeah once i'm once i'm back on campus tomorrow i think i'll start doing runs again uh, i don't want to leave this record um untouched yet because it has a lot more to go i just need to grind runs you're answering all the questions before i even ask what uh, i'll answer all the questions before i'm even asking them <laughs> it's quite quite nice um so yeah just one last thing before we move on to the next run um mm -hmm. because as you mentioned this was the oldest uh world record before you came and beat this do you know what the uh the current one is now yeah it's red classic uh by Zarin. Is one forty six yeah. in red classic, so Fair play. that's uh, that's the bounty now. Whoever's gonna do that? Yeah, uh, I could have a quick count of this. Give me a second. Nine left, I believe. Oh, mm. I'm gonna count eight because one of them's shield. Uh, that's from before twenty twenty. Uh, wow. <laughs> the shield one's been beaten. I'm gonna claim that one. But yeah, so 
down to like the last eight, and then there's only two from 2018, which were both any percent glitchless classic for red, blue, and then for yellow, both by Xarian. They're set two days apart, so yeah, if anyone's wanting to keep pushing them and get all Xarian's, the world, world, oh, gone. Xarian is just such a good runner that honestly, I don't. I think those runs are just ones that stand the test of time rather than have like this entry barrier to beat unlike this category so yeah i think it's going to be treated a lot differently i'm not sure if anybody's going to be too motivated to beat those gen 1 classic records um i think fairly recently okay it's not fairly recently it was like almost a year ago at this point finally was uh pushing it actually a bit more recently a few months ago um Maddict. Yeah. But man. still a couple of minutes off, but I don't know if it, like they've been focusing on it even in that time at all. But I don't know how good Exarian's run. At least for this is for yellow, by the way. Uh, I don't know how good of a run it is in comparison to what the potential is. But I feel like there's always People like to say that there's unbeatable world records or things that get close, and then there's always something that happens. Like I feel like this world record had that at one point, surely. And look where we are now. Yeah, this record, before I got record, was like... People thought that it was like a really good record. It was pretty good at the time, like getting sub 2, like in 2018, was pretty good. But then like, even worse just said to himself, it's like low-key one of the worst records that we have in PSR. So, well, this one, yeah. which is, yeah, it's also for any percent. I I only beat it by like sixteen seconds, so I know that it's like still not a good record. Mm. Hopefully, I I can like push this down to, like, mid one fifty eight. I think that would actually be a good record. Um, I'm definitely capable of one fifty seven, but it's like kind of not up to me. It's it's up to the game at that point, and it's probably too taxing for me to do that. Yeah, mid 158 is my next goal. Look there. So I'm just looking. So I guess I, I, I just because I'm just going back. I've gone to the leaderboard. I've not got it on the screen. I've just got a separate tab. But um, I guess unless there was something slightly in between that was missed. Uh, at least at the end of 2018, the difference was almost five minutes between worst run and a. Uh, Keys runs run with a 20419. So I can understand maybe why people thought it was almost unbeatable at that time. Yeah, just like the I mean I guess like nobody was really on Worcester's like tier of you know, knowing the game and all mm. the dedication to getting a good time and you know. Cause Worcester like definitely pioneered a lot of this stuff. And it's been a long time since anybody has like followed in his footsteps, but you know, that's what time will do. It'll... And now, it's, now it's you. Just... You're on the throne now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, I don't think we've mentioned this, but this means that I have um, Heart Gold Soul Silver sweep. I've gone all the records and run the main board for glitchless and glitched. Including the emulator times, also including the manipulus manipulus times, but yeah, um, I think it's pretty cool. Felt, yeah, felt nice definitely. to get that. Congrats on that. Thank you. That is no, that's no easy feat. That. Yeah, and um, you know, obviously, I'm trying to improve my the worst of the times, but happy to get happy to get the sweep. Feel like a champ. You are, you, well, you are. It's true. <laughs> you are a champ. Um, but yeah, I think that is now a nice time to move on to the Let's Go, where there is a lot, there's a lot of Let's Go. Yeah, Amber, right. hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello again. Hi, it's my time. <laughs> it's your time indeed. Uh, sign off with Etchy's uh, Let's Go Pikachu Any Percent. Are we are we calling it any percent arms? Is is uh, that gonna be the thing? <laughs> Some people are. So if you are not aware that 
uh, well, a really long time ago, we found out that there are, like, uh, you can skip one of the trainers in Victory Road, like, really, but by just, like, running at them on a ride Pokemon. And recently, we've found out that you can do that on every trainer in Victory Road. And even more recently, uh, setups have actually been found for these skips. So, what you actually have to do is, like, because regular Joy-Cons, like, have, like, so many directions that you can, like, possibly input, you actually have to buy, like, third-party Joy-Cons <laughs> that allow you to move in, like, completely cardinal directions to actually be able to do these skips. And luckily, they're, like, they're, like, pretty cheap. They're, like, 20, 30 American dollars, so it's not, like, that bad. But you need, do need to buy, uh, special, special equipment for them. Uh, so this run by Echu is actually like an extremely good run. He gets, uh, very good luck for most of it. Uh, nails all the skips and it was actually like 2.56 pace until champion where he kind of gets like a, a really like unfortunate situation because he's like Starmie was so good. He skipped one of the, the rare candies that he normally uses for Lance, but as a consequence, he was only level 52 for the champion fight instead of 53. And so he had to like stall on the Jolteon to make sure he actually killed it. But other than that, uh, this run is like really good. Yeah, like Edgy's, we were talking about pioneers, like Edgy's pioneered a lot of like this category feel like now at least with oh, uh sure. especially like with fight like it's actually found all of them like all the like the setups i believe i think so yeah i, I think it's like edgy and someone got, else I'm, I, he, is it he got help from sandy, sandy beach yeah. and also anubis i think helped as well oh yeah like anubis fine like doing a lot of the like let's go discovery yeah a couple of months ago at this point i think we could be on the podcast yeah i mean anubis is like the savior of let's go honestly he's helped so much with so many things recently and i i, I would, it's probably the reason that we've got so many like let's go runs to talk about mm. this month yeah definitely like i'd say this is probably like the the accumulation of everything now at this point i say it's probably going to be another month or two like this i feel like potentially uh, yeah Maybe not as much as this because there's a lot. There's, <laughs> there's a lot. A lot. Yeah. There's a lot, but I think we'll be talking about Let's Go for a good while. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, because this it's still a similar topic. Um, this is Etiquette, moving on to Etiquette's room in the background. This one, not from my understanding, not as good as Etchies. It's a three, three hours thirty four second run from Etiquette. Yeah. Uh, but this is the the EV any percent world record now. Yeah, pretty much. I think Etiquette has like just bought the like special Joy-Con to be able to do the skips. Like, with I want to say in the like last week or something. Mm. And it was pretty much just like it was like an okay run that got world record because of nobody has really done EV with the skips yet. Yeah, I think Etchy's time in EV is some. Is it like a? Is it three hours forty something maybe? Yeah, that's and that's like a Etchy's time is like ten or twenty seconds worse, and that's with only one of the trainer skips in Victory Road. While mm. Etiquette does all four. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure this will be improved very, very soon. Yeah, this this is likely to be talked about next month as well. Oh this for is... sure, yeah, yeah. That's my yeah. first time seeing all the mount skips, so yes yeah, they are they are some setups mm -hmm. um yeah i because it's if my understanding is correct it's all it's all sub pixel yes you have like about like half a pixel like uh uh what do you call it what's the word oh my gosh i've just forgotten uh, all window I, yeah you have like a half pixel window to get them so basically you just like a lot of time you either like get into a corner or get onto a wall into a, like a wall that puts you on a consistent pixel and then do like 
you know, like getting off and on the mount and then like holding cardinal directions to be able to skip them con uh, consistently. And they're also like, they're also only possible, all the setups actually, uh, right now are only for Aerodactyl, which actually loses time because you have to go to Pewter and get the old Amber and then in Cinnabar you have to go into the, uh, the lab and get and uh revive the fossil uh theoretically like doing skips and finding them on like doing skips on rapidash should be faster because you don't have to like detour for rapidash but just the current setups use aerodactyl okay i think they're just like easier to find setups for arrow yeah that'll be the the next step i think mm -hmm. like that that'll affect it one not effectively guaranteed, but that will make a, a 256, maybe even a 255 more likely. Yeah. At that point. Mm -hmm. Still very difficult, but more likely. Um, But that's it for any percent, any percent. But for any percent, no mount skips. Amber, this is your run. This is your Pikachu. Yeah. No mount skips world record. A3. <laughs> Three hours and thirty nine second run. So only a few, like only five seconds behind Edicus on Eevee. Very, yeah, very good th run. Thanks for showing me running into an encounter. Like, <laughs> no problem. Immediately, we did not plan that. That just podcast moment. Uh, this run was uh, one of the most like some of the most amazing luck I have ever seen in this game. Like, for context, this was supposed to be like an offline D rust run because um, I was looking to try to like get like top four times in every category. And I think before this, I was like seventh in Pikachu or something. So I'm like, okay, I haven't done, I haven't grinded in like a year. So I'll do a run, I'll like learn all the new strats. I actually had like come up with a lot of new like mid game strats for this category. So I was like, okay, I'll do a run where I just kind of like learn it. And I ended up getting just, like, incredible luck all the way through. Uh, specifically, in this room, I get a 0.5% Chansey spawn and a 1% uh, Clefable spawn. Right. Which, uh, yeah. So, like, before, like, before, maybe, like, two months ago, probably, um, you know catching these Pokemon would have been, like, extremely low catch rate, but because of, like, the stuff Anubis found, like, finding out that the, the ball type on the second player actually increases your catch rate, uh, these catches kind of, if you, like, get the excellent throw and Raspberry and everything, these catches are, like, 70, 75 percent. And oh. because of another new strat, uh, developed by, uh, Kick Run Keith and, uh, Edgy. I actually ran a minus special attack Pikachu, which normally, like, before, like, a month or two ago, you would never do. But, uh, they had developed some strats for them, and because those strats, because of those strats, you want to have really high experience on your Pikachu. And because of that, I decided to go for both of these. And uh, it ended up working out. Uh, especially the Chansey was just, like, crazy that it even got in considering i like missed the circle and don't even get a technique bonus on it at all which means that this catch was like probably in like the 50 something percent to actually get in but could you argue that's more optimal because you're not gaining as much experience so you don't have to wait as long to uh, do all this uh, sometimes yes, but you actually want you like getting levels on both of these things are actually like useful anyways. Oh, what so, do you mean? Like, right. Yeah, but if I had like other like Pokemon that I didn't need to evolve in my party, then yeah, it would be a lot of time loss. Uh, I just got like every bonus. <laughs> like, I I got so many Pokemon that uh normally what you do is that you catch like Cubone, Machop at level twenty four, and you evolve them at level to level twenty eight. Which is like a four four levels of evolution, but it's still like quite fast. And I had so many extra Pokemon that I just skipped doing the evolutions for those, even though I had Machop and Cubone. Because I would have gotten to the point where I actually had caught like too many things. Because I still I still need the Ponytail late game. I still really want the Dodeo late game. I still need the Staryu late game. But yeah, uh 
the cat section was really good, and then I got my Staryu, and it was 1140 CP. Which, uh, for reference, your CP is just, like, a number that's attached to, uh, the Pokemon you get, depending on how good its stats are, and it ranges from, like, 960 to 1160. So getting an 1140 was that was, like, amazing. Also on screen here, you're about to see that, uh, Staryu almost runs away from me. If it does look an attack like that, and, uh, like, the circle doesn't go away, it means it's about to run. So if I didn't get it that ball, I pretty much would have killed this run. Um, Oof. but yeah, I, I think, I, I checked the star you after, and I think I had, like, it was, like, almost perfect speed and, like, perfect special attack. Those are the two stats that matter. Mm. And so I'm able to, like, save a lot, like, a few extra turns. I hit all the important hydro pumps. Um, yeah, I was able to only, I only needed to do two setup turns on Lorelei, and I still, I didn't even have the hydro pump with, with that. Uh, I was able to skip a setup turn on Champion because my special attack was so high. Just, like, a amazing luck. I think, like, the only bad thing that happened is that I get two breakouts in this run. One at the very beginning in Viridian Forest and the one on Staryu. And, like, because of how consistent the catching is, like, the standard is zero breakouts, so getting two is pretty unlikely. And then I also get a five-turn archer double. Uh, that's the fight where, like, every turn takes, like, 20 to 30 seconds. And five turn is the I'd say the average is like four to five turns. So five isn't like that bad, but it's definitely below average. You're probably seeing four turns more often than five. So I probably lose about like twenty seconds there, but like everything else just goes so well. Um I I mean like I make a couple like decision making mistakes just because of like how weird this run is. And like how many, how like weird my experience is and my Pokemon count. But uh, yeah, I was really happy with this run overall. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it is an amazing run. Yeah, and shout out to PSRM, okay? I was watching in the background while doing this run. <laughs> Yay, PSRM. We'll be talking yeah. about that later. Yeah. Um, but we got, are you, are you, are you going to push for sub three? Or are you pushing for? Uh, so three are you doing all this stuff right um, now? Um, not right now. I'm actually looking to improve my EV NMS time. I have hmm. a, a low 302 and that. And I think world records for that is like a low 301. So uh, I'm, I'm pushing that one right now. Yeah. One of the few Let's Go runes this month that hasn't been beaten. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. There's been so, I think there's been world records in more categories than not in Let's Go this month. I think that actually might be the only category that's not had a world record. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I guess PK, the, the AOPs. PK AOP. PK AOP, uh, PK AOP specifically, yeah. Because yeah. we'll talk about etiquettes later, but uh, even yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, Spoilers. Um, also, would be remiss to. Uh, remiss? I think that's probably the right word. Uh, to mention. Uh, Etchy did also get second place in Pika, 80% uh, no, no mount skips with a 3 four, uh, three hour 45 second run. And then I think just yesterday or a couple of days ago, um, Wave got third place with a 3 yeah. 0 mm -hmm. so, so the entire top three has been. Um, well, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess Etchy would have already been in the top three. Uh, you said you were seven, so. You your new wave mm -hmm. wave top i feel like wave did wave, wave i think wave was four wave white top three and then he would have been fourth when i when i got my 3 0 so i got top three back that's it yeah okay yeah bit of movement around still so. um mm -hmm. it's like one thing to note is that etchy's run was actually world record pace until champion uh oh. he got crit on champion and like got uh like lived on one hp but oh. because of that, i had to do the extra healing turn yeah uh, bit unfortunate but 
it, it happens. Mm-hmm. Better than the run dying, I guess, because yeah, it is better than <laughs> getting crit and dying. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that. Um, quickly to show as well. So on the either side, second place for kick and run. Is it kick and run, Keith? Uh, on like, unless I see it's kick and run. Yeah, I, I I always kn- accidentally say kick run, but it is kick and run. <laughs> I honestly, I'll I'll just I call him Keith at this point. Oh yeah, because I mean the one like isn't is it Discord is kicking Keith? I thought, or maybe I just misremembering that on my own. That might be the, that's I, probably the case. You know what? I should probably maybe I should check at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, uh, kick and run. Um, let's go, EV. No mouse gets second place. A three o two o six. Uh, another great run. Uh, another person that ran into Onyx as well, uh, so I had to show that. But yeah, that is that is the Eevee size getting some representation on this uh, this month. Yeah, um, Keith. Keith has been a pretty pretty recent runner, and uh, it's been good seeing him like move up the leaderboard so quickly. Yeah, what is it? Within the last six months, maybe? Or a bit longer? I've not paid much attention to Let's Go since um, the Discords. Have, like, you have to go into them now. I don't have Let's Go. Oh, yeah, go. you have to get the roll, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't have the Let's I Go roll say, anymore. It's definitely the last few months. Hmm. Sure. Either way, in the meantime, uh, in my ground, we got T-Pat's perspective of he passed in Joker Sleep's Let's Go Diploma World Record, a 445-31. Mm-hmm. Epat, please put the 31 in your title. It is killing me. <laughs> um, I noticed that too <laughs> when he uploaded it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Was it last month or two months ago? I think it might mean last month where the split happened and we covered it on the podcast. Uh, the, yeah, I think, I think it was... I think. Um, I don't remember. Also, me apparently showing the part with the catch card breaks a bit. My apologies, I did not even plan for that one. That just <laughs> happened. <laughs> it's honestly like a, a, like a superpower at this point. How you're able to always pinpoint like the quote-unquote best parts of the run. Like, yeah, I, so I guess behind the scenes, I didn't... Like, I just happened to click on the video just as you went onto that floor. I didn't know the Onyx was going to pop up. But <laughs> I, like, a few yeah, seconds, was... saw the Onyx pop up and was like, oh, we're taking that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, I yeah it's, it is becoming a bit of a, a bit of a superpower, perhaps. But, uh, yeah. This... What was the old world record? It was the old world record was from, like, 20... No, I don't remember when it was. It was a it, while ago. It was that uh, Joker and Jayosh had a uh, four forty nine fifty nine. Yeah, I remember the pop off. I, I remember there being a pop off and a half with that one. Yeah, and like the first sub four fifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that so. was like, I I almost felt like it was like you know an unbeatable time, but like you know as we know, yeah, <laughs> all times you're beatable, eventually. Yeah, and, um, um, well, I know it's uh, more on the AOP side of things, but I assume some of this would transfer over to Diploma 40, but, oh. ah, there we go. Um, but <laughs> this, uh, T-Pat has be, had been doing a fair bit of work as well on the AOP route, mm-hmm. and so, quite nice to see T-Pat involved in this. Joke is involved in every Diploma, I feel like, at this point. <laughs> yeah. not, not even just World Joker, just every single diploma run. I Joker is one of the people. Right now, Joker runs like Pete. Joker runs in seven of the top ten runs, I think. I think it was like s- I think it was seven of the top eight runs. It was just uh Kirby's and Kirby's and Cyan. Yeah. Yeah. And uh was I like think. the other run. And I like, fair play to Joker. Joker loves these categories mm-hmm. as much as he may probably complain about them <laughs> yeah, um, they're so willing to just do it with like with yeah. uh at any time yeah if you ever want to try this out talk to joke because joke has both of the games as well and i believe on both yeah. digital though so. uh i'm not sure if he has ev digital but he is willing 
running well, yeah. if you really want to run Fika. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, wow. Wait. T-Pad literally, like, stopped playing to fix his Oh, yeah, he stopped card. playing for, like, like a minute to fix his capture card. But yeah. the, the luck on his side was really good. Pretty much for Diploma runs, I mean, both players have to play pretty good and not get, like, completely, like, terrible RNG anywhere. But, um... What it really comes down to is how fast does the EV side get the one percent pincer, and Teapot gets it in like one minute or something when the average is like eight. So. Yeah. Like, like that's one of the the few walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, uh, Teapot, I think, has doesn't have the digital version for EV. I think. No, I I would assume Teapot wouldn't. Oh. Uh, he probably does. I know he doesn't for the other games. I don't know why yeah, he, in my I, head I, I thought maybe he had this on digital now. But I think he's planning on on like he's like that he's might be it. Gonna get it really soon, I think. I might be making that up. I don't want to spread <laughs> false yeah. information. <laughs> yeah, neither That's do I. Like the physical guy. <laughs> yeah, Tpat is the physical person though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like Tpat, like especially. Like, Someone like, I mean, it's probably like let's go particularly like the main one where he's like extremely high up for being on physical. Be all yeah. the Switch games being on physical, like he's gotten really, really good times. Yeah. And it just shows that you don't need to buy digital if you don't want to buy digital. I would still recommend buying digital first. Yeah, I mean, personally, I mean, it just because I like I, it's less close. Cool no, I'm I'm the fool. I buy both digital and physical at this point. It's not like collected, <laughs> but. If you have to pick one, digital's if you've not got much space, go digital. Um but yeah, it's still like you might just show that you don't need digital to still get really, really good times. I just prefer the GameStop skip. Yeah, yeah that's what I like to do. I don't like having to go out of my house. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Um but yeah. St still on Let's Go, uh, we've got Ezekiel with the Let's Go Eevee AOP world record, a 505.34. Um, this is showing off, I don't, like this is this was from like a half year, again maybe like half a year ago at this point, maybe uh, time blends all together at this point. Uh, but it's a very similar uh, situation to how we can do the um, the Ray Den Manip, even though it's, is it a Manip? Not really Manip, but we call it, it a great demo. Right. We call it Manip, I mean, it's just you, the game gets tricked into thinking mm. that time is passed naturally when you're in, like, when you're trying to communicate with other systems. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, you're like, you have a seat and you're advancing frames, that's Manip to me. Fair enough, then, we'll call it Manip. Right. But it's the, um, <laughs> it's the Let's Go equivalent which can be used to uh, respawn the is an item there which has the option. I think this time Edgar was looking for the dome fossil and kept yeah. getting oh, the helix yeah. fossil over and over. Like, this one, you're only like using the day advance function, are you? Yeah, you just okay. advance yeah. a day to get it to respawn. Yeah, that makes more sense. You're 45% to get a dome fossil, 45% to get helix, and then 10% to get the old amber, and it takes him like eight day advantage or something to get the 45% dome, so that was really bad, but everything else about this run is honestly like, incredible. Hmm. There are generally like, three main Pokemon that will take a really long time for you to get an AOP, which is Kangaskhan, Trixini, and Tensor, and he gets like, all three pretty much instantly. Uh, he does... He does the mount skips because this I think this was like the very first run he actually like did mount skips on I think he might have missed one of them just because he like had only practiced them for like the first time the day before doing this run but that's like one minute in the grand scheme of a five hour run with tons of luck yeah it's not as uh, not as big of a deal still not ideal but not as big of a deal yeah. uh, this is the only run, at least I think on the Eevee side, right, that uses mount skips at the moment. Yeah, that's correct. I believe the only 
other one. I, I think Pulse does them, but he's only done them on Pika side. Let me have a quick nosy. The again, this this could be wrong. Don't quote me. <laughs> um. So what would really help would be if Paul submitted his runs. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, I think he he does not <laughs> skips though. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, from what I've heard, he does not skips. I just don't know which version he plays. That's more of the issue on my end. Yeah, I think he tried doing EVAOP. I don't know if he finished the run, but he did try it recently. Yeah. But I guess also this does technically actually make it just the overall AOP world record as well. Oh, this does yeah. beat uh, Joker's 51048. That's uh -huh. just another a, another little thing to note. Doesn't matter as much now, seeing as the, the games are split, but... Still a, a nice little thing to mention. Um, yeah. But second place, like, did, you did not do mount skips, did you? In your five no, twelve forty seven. No, I did not do mount skips. It's actually, like so wild that like before last month, the EV like it wasn't split, but like the EV ALP record had not been beaten for three years. And now it's been, I think there's been five or six new records in the past, like, month and a half. Um, yeah. yeah T-Pat was one, of, like, T-Pat had the world record on physical. Yeah, he, he had the 518 last month, I think. And then Etiquette got it twice, the uh, 515 and 513. And then I got my 512, and then Etiquette got the 505. So, yeah, my, my run has, like, Pretty good rare spawns. Uh, gets loses like five minutes between Magmar and Ditto, which is really bad. But other than that, it was like a pretty clean run. Um, well, the it's not the only AOP run that you've done this month, though, is it? Either. No, it's not. Oh, this is, well, that was your easy. I apparently played your evil one, but whatever, we'll play oh, the evil okay. one in the background. Well, yeah, uh, sure. But as we'll play the evil one in the background as we talk about <laughs> your Pikachu AOP, which is a 522.33. Yeah, that yes. run is... I mean, that run's okay. Uh, that run was done as part of the uh, big AOP race that we did in the Switch PSR Discord. There were eight of us racing, and I think that's the race that Etiquette got his 5.13. EV AOP record. That sounds right. Yeah, and I ended up getting uh 52233. Uh my run my it was like honestly like really standard. <laughs> my Pika AOP run. A lot of AOP is like if nothing goes horribly wrong, you're probably gonna get a really good time. And that's pretty much what happened on my Pika AOP. Nothing was like super super duper good. But nothing, like, went terribly in terms of luck. The only thing that I did is that, um, uh, well, in this run, we use a, a mechanic called Madon, like, Madame Celadon to, like, make it so that all the Pokemon you encounter after a certain point in the run are modest. Uh, specifically, like, so you can have a modest star me, and, uh, I may have forgotten to go and set it. So, uh, I had a really bad star me because of that, and I had to, like, Particularly on Lance, I, on Lance, I had to like kind of uh, MacGyver a strat to actually get by. It like, worked out in the end, I I guess, since you finished. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the rest of the run was like so good that it didn't really matter. Mm. But I've only done that twice ever, once in that big race, and the other time during Barrier Blitz. I've never done it any other time. Did you do that in Barrier Blitz? I did. I got a 305 on on that on that attempt. <sighs> was that what the, did you you finish with? Was it a 30? What did you finish even with in Barrier Blitz? It's been a uh, while. <laughs> I finished with a 30302, which was All my right. PB until I beat it this month. All right. Was that was the one with the rapid dash as well? Shiny rapid dash. Yes, right? I had a shiny rapid dash on my Barrier Blitz run. No cursed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I think uh, in in my my Pika uh, AOP run, while I was looking for 
uh, Scyther, I saw a shiny gloom. <sighs> Even more cursed. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm trying to think. That, that's actually, that's the end of Let's Go. That is all the Let's Go for this month. Yeah. It's, again, a lot of Let's Go. We'll probably see more over the coming months. Uh, for sure. Edgy's Ad pushing for sub 3. I know uh, Etiquette's going to be pushing his EV, uh, both, I think both any percent and NMS yeah. fair, fairly soon. Pulse is in AOP hell right now, I believe. Yeah, Pulse is having a time. Yeah, shout out to uh, the 4th gen for streaming Let's Go EV for so long. <laughs> Oh and yeah, then, like a, um, a three. He, imp he improved his PB like a lot over like the past couple of days. Well, was it from a th was it from a three twenty four or a three twenty two to a three eleven? Yeah, that's a huge improvement for him. Mm. Yeah, absolutely a massive improvement. Uh, he didn't get his goal of sub three ten, but it might happen. I, I, don't know. I think I think if he pushes for it, he's gonna get it really soon. Yeah, the, I think the issue. I think he wants to do it by the end of this weekend. So he would make Etiquette run Ultra Moon, but I think Etiquette's gonna get let off because I don't think I don't think Josh is planning to do any more runs this weekend. So Etiquette is safe. Yeah, Etiquette saved. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I, I was gonna try and find a segue. I couldn't think of anything. But this is Sword. <laughs> this is Candy Floss. Uh, I love Sword any percent one point two uh, plus. Second, technically second place is first on SLC. Um, Ringo has a has a four hundred six that is definitely like a valid run. So yeah, Candy Floss. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, a bit torn yeah. about this because this is it's a very good like fair play. P Pierre has been pushing this, uh, pushing Sword and Shield a fair amount, more so Sword mm -hmm. I believe, but. Uh, yeah. It's still Candy Floss. <laughs> mm -hmm. The thing with Candy Floss is that, like, uh, like if you're like you know you have good execution in Candy Floss, it's like pretty easy to get like in the four oh nine, four ten range. But because Candy Floss is like so consistent, getting like a really good Candy Floss time is actually like really hard. Like getting like under like a four oh eight is like takes a lot of like either really good luck or playing like extremely extremely well yeah um apparently i guess you have to be japanese um by the way do you do you have under 408 no Didn't i you? don't i on 1.0 i have a like a low 408 and then i have like a mid 409 on 1.2 yeah and also i said that i can't remember what is what's retro's time on pre 1.2 uh, 408, 14, I think. Oh yeah, that's a, that sounds about right. Also, it's great that you just know the times. <laughs> oh, I okay, I know it because I think his time was, was two seconds better than mine. I think that's what that sounds right, it. actually. Yeah, I have 408, 16. To be fair, I probably should remember that because that I believe is one second better than my shield. No, better than my sword, 1.2 time. I think I have the 408, 15. You have a better store time than me. Oh. I, I mean, Dang. my pre, my my pre 1.2 <laughs> time is better than my post 1.2 time. Mm. You account for it, for being picky about it. But <laughs> anyway, no, that's that's enough of mine. Perjo has been putting in a lot of work. Yeah, I've definitely I've been seeing him slowly move up the leaderboards. Yeah, um, I believe. Again, other than Ringo, uh, I think Pedro has second, I guess, for the Impsome DLC category as well. I'm not too sure about Galarian Star Tournament. Uh, I, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But I'm pretty sure for the Japanese uh, DLC runs, you get Urshifus. I don't think he even gets Calyrex. I think, uh, again, at least top two, at least on the Japanese side. But it's just really clearly like this game, and I highly respect that because I also like this game. I don't know too much about the run though. That's why I'm 
kind of filling it out a bit. I don't know why. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, it's just it's just one of those rooms. I haven't I had I did not have the time to check. I just know Goldie's not uh I know Goldie's uh, a fairly hard section. If if the fight goes a bit awkward with Shuckle, right? Uh yeah, I think the Japanese runner actually do like a different strat than the English runners. Oh, probably should have paid I, attention during that. I one. wasn't fully <laughs> paying attention, I'm gonna be honest, but I think the Japanese runners like don't use a guard spec on the fight. Okay. I would have to, I, I you know what I should have paid attention to that you know when we, when they were actually doing the fight. But yeah, I mean I I assume that it's like a really good run considering how hard it is to actually get like a four or seven candy floss. Mm. Yeah, because I know because I check I did check it earlier that uh, Pedro didn't do the the hurricane fight for Duncan. Uh, did for the two turns on coughing, two turns. Oh, you have to yeah. do two turns on do the Rudo anyway, but. So mm -hmm. I took the safer fight there, which is, I guess, you can call it the retro Tato strat. I don't know. Oh, does Re did retro actually do that in a run? <laughs> like, no, no, it? not the hurricane. I'm talking about the, the two turn coughing. Oh. Okay, the hurricane okay. fight. I'm just calling the Ringo strat because I'm. I've only seen Ringo do it. I've only ever seen Ringo do that. <laughs> but yeah, so, Candy Force, it's pushing ahead. Yes. All right, don't make me kick you out, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> All right, let's go on to Legends Arceus. Um, Hulk with the any percent turbo, well, I'd say turbo world record. They've actually been combined now. Um, so any percent world record, a three forty two eighteen. This is it's been a crazy twenty six hours. Oh, there was a crazy twenty six hour period. Where there was four world records, both between Shady and Hulk. Um, part of me feels a bit sorry for Shady. <laughs> Being as like Shady get the world record, then Hulk will beat. Then Shady will get it again, then Hulk will beat. I've been in Shady's position for other games. It's just yeah. like a <laughs> scenario where somebody has to be upset. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying upset. I assume like Shady still. It. They yeah. can tie it and then never play again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I. I... I've been like sort of paying attention to it and like these two guys are just pushing this time way further down than any of us expected. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Seriously. They're just so much better than everybody else at this game. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. well, it was back when it first came out, people were not expecting it to get sub four, right? Yeah, like the push for sub four took a, a while, I think, for people. Yeah. And then how ever since like people were like sub four was happening, how Gory and Shady have just been pushing it farther and farther. I think like one other person has like a three forty like eight or three forty nine, and then the next best time is like a three fifty sub like three fifty six. I have the times. Uh, Evil Beef in mm -hmm. third in third with a three forty eight fifty, and then it's Edica in fourth with a three fifty six thirty eight. And then just behind um, is uh, Crisis Aurus uh, with a 357.38. Um, I feel like, I think Crisis is still doing attempts. I think so as well. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, I know Crisis has done like a few marathon runs of it. Yes. Yes. Um, so, but yeah, um, this has happened. Uh, that, the Dialga catch, uh, I don't think. That's happened. This happened at this point. Yeah, that uh, that just happened. But it right? just happened. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, um, that was a case of catching the dialogue without hypnosis, which is an around fifty percent chance, and that was effectively what got Hulk the world record. Yeah, I think because Anubis recently figured Anubis, out the yes. catch for me. Yeah, Anubis pretty much did Let's Go stuff, and then you went went to Legend yeah. Arceus. I uh, also also love. did some Soul Shield stuff, oh, which is kidding. not as important in terms of the run. Please break my game next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anubis did catch calc stuff, but it's more for like the uh, the raid dens. Oh uh, yeah, that. About that. But still, anyway, yeah. Sorry, interrupted. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Anubis uh, figured out all the catch like rate stuff, and so 
if we like now runners of that game like know how like good good or bad like certain dialga fight strats are because there's like i think they had like three or four potential strategies for dialga catching and pretty much i think what they're doing now is that they look at their pace when they're at dialga and if they're like if they're like just barely ahead of like a goal time they'll do the uh like a risky faster strat that were with the 50 percent catch but if they're like well ahead of a goal time they'll like do a strat that takes slightly more time but the catch is like a lot more consistent mm. so they'll do like different strategies depending on their pace i think it involves like hypnosis or something yeah, yeah, I don't know what they are specifically. I haven't looked at the route in like a month or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, like with it though, is this was the this catch was without hypnosis. Um, yeah. But I, I guess all the time or record. Yeah. Um, I guess like also with what Anubis found, uh, it's not showing in this bit. Did I? I believe I did. Yes, I did. Um, I think somewhere around here it'll probably be shown at some point. But um, it also showed how effective backstrikes was. Like Anubis found out about basically how you throw the ball at Pokemon, like how that takes into the, into account the catch uh, the catch percent. There's so just a lot of stuff like that. Anubis again, really like really helped switch speed running out uh, with like Let's Go and with Legends Arceus. Yeah. I didn't read all of the Legends Arceus discussion, but I think the most interesting thing that I read is that the back, like, you get, like, a bonus catch rate for backstriking. Mm. That bonus still applies even if you, like, backstrike to start a battle and then catch something. That is interesting. Is that throughout the whole fight, was it, or...? Uh, I'm not sure. That would, I guess that would make sense. But yeah, it, it's a thing that like runners were doing before, just like they just thought it was like a placebo thing, but it turns out it was actually better. Yeah. The newbie is really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one, one last Legends Arceus thing before we head out uh, from Twitch speedrunning. Uh, Carolio with the Legends Arceus casual mall Japanese. Uh, again, turbo. And this was non-turbo, but they've been combined. Uh, world record with a five, uh, not five, an eight fifty-five fifty-one. AOP. I, I, I don't know too much about the run. Uh, I did not have much time to look over it or ask anyone about it. Um, but this seems like a solid time, from my understanding. Uh, I don't know how much difference there is with tech speed between English and Japanese, but I think like Hulk's time is like a an eight thirty something. Eight thirty one. Uh, eight thirty one. Yeah. Okay. Um also the fact that this from the looks of it is a an almost one hour PB. That must show yeah. that at least some raid ends went right. Oh not raid ends, some uh, distortions popped up quickly. Or they just played an hour better. Like that is that's also potentially the case but yeah that is that is switch speed running for this month uh just a couple more runs from the side games we have redskin with Pokemon xd all 50 battle cds english world record uh, a 2 1745 uh this run had more deaths than previous world record uh the i guess the 2 18 16 but the deaths themselves Caused less time loss, and that that's that's kind of it, really. Uh, just minimizing the time loss. Still seems like there's a fair amount that can be done, uh, time wise. I don't know what the I don't know what Redskin's time at the top of his head for this category could be, but she called it a magic card. That's this is why I like the. I like. I don't, did did either of you ever play Pokemon XD? Nope. I was uh, like a very young child, watch mostly watching my brother play XD. I think I was like five or six when this game came out. 
all right cool i feel ancient now uh, <laughs> i wasn't even that old when it came out to be fair um but no this is great and like the battle seasons were just it's just fun and so like i guess this one it's use one hit chaos because the smeagol just used fisher um yeah. i think i saw mind reader yeah mind reader. yeah so just like just like cool battle like simulations and it's like there's certain ways to win it's cool there's also one for metronome that's another category where you just ban metronome and hope you get a quick time um uh but yeah one last run and I don't think this will ever be done again. Maybe it might. Uh, but this is Speedrunner 0218. Uh, Pokemon Conquest 100%. 72 hours, 47 minutes, and 1 second. I thought that's at 7 hours. Nope. That's nope. a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have got the link for SRC because I wanted to show this off specifically. Um, so I think this is kind of like. This is kind of submitted, I believe, as like a bit like a, a show concept. I don't know. Um, but oh, like as, as a series, a series was what I was thinking. Like a series. So if I just bring this over, um, there is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so many. Yeah? There is. They're all like around four hours. Um, maybe a bit long. Maybe there's some that are longer than four hours. I think the first one was 19 one's parter. 19 parter. Wow. 19 parter. I know what he The Fairmont. Watch go ahead. Go, go, go <laughs> ahead. Watch it all. There's plenty of content right there. Um, This. I, I want to say this is the longest PSR run. But like a single game. Uh... The only thing that causes doubt in my mind, I don't know some of the lengths of the PMT catch them all. I, I was just thinking PMD, like the recruit them all. I have no clue yeah. exactly how long those are. Like, and I guess probably super Mr. Ginger. I could, I could look. I can look. I have the power to do this. Now, is this 72 hour run, is that RTA or is that with the breaks? Um, that's breaks taken into account. So the time it was paused in the middle. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to think how many days this run must have been done over. <laughs> Plenty. Um, okay, it's Super Mission Dungeon, the longest I can find is 36 hours. There might be a longer Super Mystery uh, there might be a, a, another Mystery Dungeon that's longer, because I don't know the games too well. Uh, for, or at least I don't know the Catch More Cagres too well. So, let's just say this is the longest one. Uh, so, okay, sure, great. Do this over Labor Day weekend. Go ahead. Um, when is Labor Day? Is the I, that longest one? When is so Labor Day? We don't offend anyone. <laughs> like, we don't have Labor Day in the UK, but like this weekend. Oh wow. Um, but yeah, this this is just something I wanted to show, just to just to point out, because again, you don't you don't see runs like this. This is the first run of it, uh, so. <laughs> Nice to just show these types of runs every now and then when they pop up. But yeah, that is it for the noted runs. Um, there's been quite a few marathon runs, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this one in the background for now, because this was from RTA in Japan, summer 2022, which is like the big, the big Japanese marathon. Um, this run in particular is Icarus versus versus Nat. Okay, it's not, so it's Nat three three six six three three, uh, so Nat. I'm going to say Nat because that's much easier. Uh, with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, no Quick Save, no Wonder Mail. Um, there was also Midori Kaze with Ranger, uh, Pokemon Ranger eighty percent, and then Ikrin with Stadium Gold and Silver. Um, yeah. Oh, so just as a quick before I. I it was going on a slight minor tangent because I like doing that. There's a lot of um, non-English speaking marathons, which is cool, like this past month. Uh, so there's a French marathon, uh, there's a Korean marathon, and there's a couple of Spanish marathons. There's at least one that I can see on the list. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, go back, 
I just wanted to mention that. But yeah, next marathon there was um, a French marathon in Amber. <laughs> Do you speak French well? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, no. Uh, I, I was so confused why you asked me that until I was like, oh yeah, Canada, French. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Must yeah, know no French, right? I uh, I learned I I took the the required school classes and never touched it again. All right, let let me. I'll give this a go then. Okay. Encyclopedia. Nope, that was terrible. I did Spanish at school, and even then my Spanish was not good. Uh, but encyclopedia, uh, encyclopedia, do speedrun there. Uh, Ham Tamo with Red Ink percent glitchless. There was one and done a thon. Uh. Paul and May doing learn with P uh, well, Pokemon typing adventure. What a run that was. Yep. It was one of, one of the runs of all time. <laughs> I didn't actually see the marathon run, but I saw her like do runs on her stream. Okay. And I, lo I love I love how you don't type for like 70% of the run. Like, legit. It's a good game. Like it seems fun. It's actually like it's actually a good game because I, I have it. Um, it was not released in North America. It was released in the other English speaking regions. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> it, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, the, the game was actually fun with it, which was that surprised me. Um, anyway, uh, there was also BSG uh, Annual 2022. Um, a lot of Pokemon runs were there. There was Wartab with X any percent. There was SLV. Actually, that run might got cancelled. I don't mind. But there may have been SLV with Snap any percent. Um, no Hands OP with Sword any percent. Uh, Jimmy with Soul Silver any percent. Manipulous Doki with Prism any percent, which is the run playing in the background. And then there was a. It was a nice watch. I see. I didn't get. I didn't catch this run. Um, it was a bit late. I think what was what was happening on the 18th? I was probably doing marathon prep at that point. Oh, on the 18th, not this time. I was probably just doing that. But either way, that doesn't matter. Uh, what is this run? What is this game? It's, other than it's a fun game, that's all I know. Uh, about it. It's just a ROM hack. It this this run involved glitches where like you work away from like the end of the game back to the beginning so that you can beat the E4. Also, mm. like you, very candy, uh, Typhlosion level of 100. Um, not to give too much away, but yeah, that's how that might be the bit I highlighted game. here, so yeah, it's but like, like corruption, underflow, yeah, all this... that stuff. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at like the highlight bit, it's like, okay, this looks complicated, let's put this in the background whilst it plays. I have no idea. Well, I mean, it's, I guess it's like my own flow, but I've never had to do it and I've never looked into how this works. I never needed to. Um, but yeah, there's also Araya versus Legend Eater versus uh, Ethel Weed with Red 80% Glitchless, No Instant Text, the, the common race category nowadays. And then, last but not least, uh, there was Crafted with Platinum 80% Glitchless. Um, there was also a Spanish Marathon, Triple S4, uh, Captain Bublo with Diamond Any Percent. There is a Korean Marathon, a Super Speedrun Marathon 2022. Uh, a lot of you doing two r Pokemon Red All Blue runs, because uh, I didn't check the games. Uh, but they were Catch Them All in Reverse Badge Order. I think they're both in the blue, uh, typically right? Uh, that sounds right to me. I know our, our Reverse Badge Orders typically done on blue it's been a while since you've run that though so i don't know there um there was flame fatals uh 2022 there was kagi Nikki with legends arceus uh legends arceus beat cleavor and then sanjan versus kovame with omega ruby versus alpha sapphire any percent uh midwest speed fest also happened conception with Phil any percent manipulus and help with Lens Arceus any percent, and then Conception once again with Pearl any percent Manipulus for Speed Doxathon 2022. Uh, last night, my time, uh, and then Spicy Buns in the very early hours of this morning. 
uh, with new snap any percent UK times it was it was the second in the North America time zones but the biggest marathon clearly out of all of them uh, PSR marathon 2022 that's one you, not bias definitely not <laughs> biased at all both of you were in it yeah yeah yes you both were um what did you think <laughs> really uh, good I was, you. yeah it was really fun had a great time had a lot of fun watching the runs and doing my own run yeah because uh a lot of my time was spent worrying about things uh i've not had the time to like go over too many of the runs uh just nicely watching them without the stress of it all um but yeah like with your both of your runs in particular sorry you took her um what happened at the end <laughs> oh yeah um <laughs> that was uh that was something it was a classic just red wasn't cooperating um lime got first try red happy for him but me i i sort of misplayed like on two of the attempts for red but um yeah no that red is just not great in any percent manipulus it's simple as that even if you have a female part it's a still a bad fight lost like what 15 minutes trying to do red it's all good <laughs> no, it, it, it was fun to showcase it so I'm not mad yeah because i'm trying to remember if I, I assume that room was probably shown at some point in past PSR marathons. I don't not have the any list. percent manipulus because oh, that, that that's not? a fairly oh yeah manipulus of course yeah. yeah yeah well that's cool. with the the new developments and such yeah and then also first time being sh uh, shown it's all trade all mains because they had not been shown before in the last one back in twenty twenty was ultra ultra moon or ultra sun. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was good. It was, it was good. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. It was really. It was really fun. I don't want to. I'm not gonna spoil the race or anything. If any of you all want to watch, but uh, we all, all three of us. So it was a three-way evolution trade alt main race between Vaporeon, uh, Sylveon, and Glaceon, and we all finished within two minutes of each other. So it ended up being like super close and super fun. Yeah. And you know, I might be a little biased, but I thought it was the best run of a marathon, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Not biased though. No, no bias there. Um I have to ask though, why did you not pick Ruki? Well you see <laughs> when best you pour your you wanna get the, the item that increases your water boost. <laughs> You're just going you to like the DLC Grookey? area. If you like Grookey, you should uh, cheer for Aspect. I think he's the one that got Grookey. Uh, yes, Aspect was, because I did wish Aspect and only Aspect good luck because of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, like uh, for the run specifically, um, they've not been highlighted on Twitch yet. I need to do that soon because uh, they've got cool days. But on YouTube, they are currently being released uh, one a day, so as to not destroy the feeds, pretty much. That's like the main reason. So there's a few of the runs out. Lens Arceus, this is one of them that is out. Uh, I believe the one today. What was the one today? I do not remember. I could quickly look in the Discord. Let me have a moment. Uh, <laughs> White to any percent mint nipless uh, by joy uh, by joy uh, bleh, words by joylin. So that was a good run. That was a good run. The bits I got catch. I I was asleep for the beginning of it because I needed to rest. But yeah, uh, catching the end of the room. That I I enjoyed that. That was a good run to listen to. A nice run to wake up to. But. I think there was anything else. There's probably something else, but I don't remember it. So let's move on to the past marathon. 
No, not the path by the roots. The upcoming one. Yeah. Future sure criminals. Runs. Uh, yes, I have not cleared the tabs properly in my Chrome, and that is why I said that. <laughs> so let's look at the upcoming marathons. Uh, Tuka, would you like to go through them? Sure. Um, so we have not the same. I don't know if that's how you pronounce S A E M, but not the same. We have Dry Whale. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon EOS. Uh, like Explosive it. Sky. I Explosive do this. Sky. To every, I do this to everyone, and I keep forgetting every single time that I just put it as an acronym. Yeah, fast any percent. No. Okay, Wonder I don't mail. know what W. Is. No Wonder Mail. Sorry again. Wonder but there's the acronym because I don't want to type Wonder Mail out every single time. Yeah. So I have Dry Whale's PMD run at September 10th at uh, 7:40. I think it's UK time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so all of these are in UK time as well. Um, I'm also just going to quickly jump in about this um, theme marathon. This is the Sonic Adventure. Uh, like, this is like their theme speedrun marathon for not Sonic games. Not not the Sonic Adventure Sonic games, I believe, actually. Ah. Uh, so, just a bit of context behind that. Sonic's banned. Do not submit Sonic. Do not try it. Uh, do not submit Sonic Adventure, I guess, because I'm just looking at this right now and I see <laughs> Sonic R. <laughs> <laughs> I see Sonic I R in there. The, looked at the screen though. <laughs> they got Melee? Nice. Oh, where's Melee? Yeah, that's cool. Let's get completely sidetracked by the non Pokemon speedruns. Oh, shine, shine. Good game. Yes. Good game. Great game. It's an amazing game. Best, best 3D Mario game. Well, I don't I, know what that one, but... I'm I mean, saying that. I don't care. <laughs> this, this is my podcast now. I'm claiming that. This is, we're turning this into a sunshine. <laughs> I will never win that game again, though. I was so bad at it. But anyway, sorry, Tucker. You may... <laughs> yeah, we got uh, Palathon 1. Das Fair is going to run Coliseum No Snags. Uh, 10th of September, 1020. Yes. Then at No Glitches Allowed 9. We have my guys diamond under percent glitches with piplup plus uh, on the 16th of september at 12 35. then we have a crystal extreme full item, item randomizer, randomizer full item randomizer item randomizer race <laughs> kind of like think about what that acronym is <laughs> Sorry there eventually. 17th of september at 6 58. Then we have Iron, uh, running Fire Gold, any percent, 17th of September at 23.28. And we have Das Ferro again, running XD, any percent, uh, 18th of September at 9.43. We got a long speedrun summit, which is a Japanese marathon. We have Ringo, uh, running Sword Galarian Star Tournament on the 16th of September, 14 o'clock. Shiguma gonna run Super Mystery Dungeon, 80%, no Wonder Mail, uh, on the 20th of September, 1634. And we have user 938326, red green dex completion. So, so a bit Gen of context 1. behind that. As you can see, all of like the majority of these were all in Japanese. So I had to rely on Google Translate to get these. The uh, Google Translate for work. That dex completion, it was something like oh, I don't remember it now at this point. I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab it because it was it was something. Um okay. uh, 124 glitchless like category. Is that what it's I that's what I'm going to assume until uh I made the estimate lines up and it says it says glitchless one player and Well okay, this is a great like start. It's it put it, it assumed instantly that it was Chinese when I put it into the translator uh, and call it figure completion there we go so in Japanese the 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 deeple translates I use deeple um completion of the illustrated book <laughs> one could describe a pokedex as an illustrated book indeed yeah. so one I just had to is so a completion of an illustrated book yeah, so 
I, I had no idea what that... I, I don't know if that was 124 or if that was... Like a full... A bag is glitchless. I should have probably shoot it was 124, but still... Yeah, that's a 6 hour estimate. That's on the 25th of September at 8.50. The thing is, also, it says red green though. Does, are they going to play both games? I, I guess. I guess. They, that would be interesting. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool. I guess like three hours each makes more sense, right? I don't know. You gotta get <laughs> everything. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, you're the yeah. general specialist. You know Pokemon Green, definitely. I, yeah, <laughs> of course. I, I feel like it's probably just one game, but yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't exactly, I'm not 100% sure. So I guess you can watch the run and find out. Yes, and... What time was that again? Uh, September 25th at 8.50. I will be asleep, so... <laughs> what day is the 25th? Is that, is that a weekend? Uh, that is... Go. That I is a Sunday. Day. Okay, I'll be asleep as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be asleep for the, I could make. I could watch it halfway through. That is a possibility. Sorry, I we'll keep, be awake I keep, for it. <laughs> I, keep, I keep derailing you. I'm sorry, Tokyo. No, you're good. Oh yeah, one more. Uh, one more. Run the Mall Marathon. We have Silver running Brilliant Diamond 80%, the glitch category, uh, on the 30th September at 2310. And then finally we have a race between Bill Bonsai and Artie Coton. Uh, red 80% glitch list in OIT. That's on the 2nd of October at 12.28 uh, a.m. Yes. Uh, that's it for future marathons. Sorry, I also forget that North America does not typically use 24-hour timing. Yeah, I had no <laughs> idea what to say there. <laughs> <laughs> 0028. It's, it's, the, it's the better way to say time. I know, it's just not used to it. Had to do something more congestible. I agree. Myself. Also, yes, head Bob, there is GeoGuessr. On the first of October. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, a quick thing that I was meant to mention when we were talking about Let's Go. Um, this uh, actually uh, last night. Yeah, last night. I guess at this point. Uh, um, I think it was when... a couple of days ago. I just got uploaded to YouTube last night. I think. Uh, well, either way, um, actually did a Let's Go Eevee showcase uh, on GQ. So if you are interested in in learning the run, uh, let me try and not include the timestamp into this book because I need that for this. Um, but for anyone in here who might be interested in Let's Go runs, um, but have not really found a way to get into them just yet, this is the perfect video for you. And I will also include this in the YouTube uh, description. Yeah, uh, like even... I watched the first like hour of this before I had to go to bed. But even if you're like, if you've run Let's Go before, but you want to like figure out ways to improve your time, I would also watch this. There's a lot of really, really good information here. And it's very like comprehensive. Like we have it all in one spot now, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was asleep and this happened. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Look at that time. I was even. definitely asleep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But so I'm not going around to watching this, but I, I do know I actually very knowledgeable of the game, knows how to explain things really well. Mm -hmm. So this this should be like a good good like way to learn Let's Go or learn new stuff about Let's Go if you've already run it. Like you mentioned, if you want to improve your time, um, and this this will be good for a good while, I imagine as well. At this point, should be yeah, a bit, should be evergreen. Almost. Mm -hmm. It has all the new catching stuff. Yes. Which is really nice. Um, also to mention, the red tournament qualifiers have begun. Are either of you two taking part? I'm not. Not, not this year. I have taken part in the past. Yeah. I think and there's was... like... I think there's like four days left for qualifiers. So. I think 
yeah. those who are interested are mostly playing now just for uh, seeding. Hopefully yeah. getting a buy round one. So but this is... if any late stragglers, you only have four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or as a quick reminder, if you have like trying to push you get the best seat, go do it. You have four days apparently. So quick mention for that. Um and that's that is everything before the leaderboard roundup. So if everyone's ready. You ready? You wanna go through? Ready. Alright. If there's anything that jumps out at you, feel free to say. Uh for example, twenty second place. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Twenty second place is truly a one forty seven thirty six in red any percent glitchless. Yep. Um he actually had a run that was like really insane pace. It was like the low one forty six pace that he unfortunately lost. But he was able to get this PB. So. I just... really appreciate how my PB in red is a 147.35 and like a whole bunch of people have times like one second or two seconds lower than that. I really appreciate that, y'all. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. 20 is uh, very close. Keeping your PSR ranking ELO high. Yeah, exactly. The most important one, of course. The Yes. <laughs> uh, do, do. 1932, sixth place in any percent glitches classic. Uh, sub two hour time of 159.54. They are happy. Congrats on happiness. Congrats on happiness. I do like happiness. It's been a while since I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, just, I, I, do, I just wanted to say that. I'm, the marathon made me happy. Don't worry, it's fine. I was just saying it. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan for the marathon. Thank Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cough. 11th place in any percent glitchless classic Japanese Peugeot with a 204 26. Um. 8% no save corruption, 6th place for E, uh, e Jr. 98 with a 11.51. Yes, key posting the smilers. Post the smilers to get past the awkwardness. Um, <laughs> third place for Kurt in a, a yellow 8% no save corruption, a 12.46. Eighteenth place in gold or silver manipulus um, from Harsh ESC. Apparently, apparently this run had a lot of weird stuff, including a Yolo Ball Abra. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've read about it a little bit. Congrats on Abra. Oh, I think I might have seen a clip of that in one to three. Yeah, yeah. I remember it now. 354.39. I was only just pointing this out because you don't typically see Gen 2 runs that often. I didn't know there was more behind this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I started following the Gen 2 page because I don't think I would have gotten many runs in my my feed and hasn't been very active at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gen 2 is... Well, with Minipolis, Minipolis does make it a bit easier to get into, but historically, sure. I guess. Not the easiest games to get into and play, from my understanding. Not interested in glitchless. Uh, fifth place for the math genius, a 201.38 in any percent. On console specifically. Okay. Again, just fire a leaf green. Like, that would have been like clear world record. Like, I don't know how long ago at this point, maybe like a year ago. Yeah, sounds that sounds about right to me. And then it's just just barely getting to top five, I guess. While how that game's gone. Um any percent glitchless Japanese on emulator, world record for EXDF with a 52427. Uh Diamond, any percent uh English on console, Rubentus in 11th with a 
And that was Emulator in 11th, Sabayrin, with a 112.17. Rupentis has made the commitment to uh, do Mart skip in runs, which is like kind of oh, a whole wow. record strat. <laughs> so, cool. good luck to him. I think he PB'd recently, like today, 59.0 something. Every single nice. time. To be honest, I'm surprised no one's come in and mentioned that Hal called Shady's got a world record in Lenin's Arceus, seeing how that's been the last few days. Like, there's always there's always something that'll like you run the leaderboard round up, like great. And then it's the point where it's like, oh, a PB. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Um Pokemon Platinum, I'm saying glitchless, uh English on DS slash DDS. Bouncy in tenth with a 348.56. And then Jimmy uh, in fifth, but the Apes take agree with a 251.36. Oh, yeah. Um, there's been a couple of plat 80% Manipt races because Crafted found a a seed for Chimchar that gets like pokers really early, so it's nice to do you know, early game resets. So it's, a, it's actually able to be raced now. Uh, oh, cool. That was because he had a marathon run and decided to find a Chimchar seed that does a save and quit in the house, so it's cool. Yeah, bad like, boy. Like, percent times as a result of the races. Our goal is also the 6th place for Affected Ashes in 80% glitch, let's say 338.21. Um, we already mentioned you over earlier, Tucker. Um, but 2nd place on Emulator for Devin Kennedy, a 232.47. Ooh, Tucker, twenty-first in eight percent on Pokemon X. I assume it's Pokemon X. You did uh, with yeah, a three fifty-five oh nine. Um, Practice forever. X... <laughs> yeah, just learning a bit more of X. Um, probably get a new PB soon, but I, I eventually want to do this. But it's not at the forefront of my priorities right now. But I can still definitely easily PB. In the coming coming days, so yeah, it's yeah. cool. Why X? Why uh, Why X in particular? Um, just uh, it's not not a terrible game to learn, um, especially when like you're not contending for a record right away. So yeah, I've had fun playing it. It's nice to learn something new. Adds a new skill set to my repertoire. Fair play, fair play. Pardon me. Uh, Omega Ruby, 80%. Uh, 38th for Naomi Plays, a 404 41. 80% Alpha Sapphire, a fortunate in 22nd with a 314.33. And then in the 4th for the Japanese side of uh, for Alpha Sapphire, Hijo with a 328.06. You're just running like everything. <laughs> yeah, Pijo is running everything at the moment, <laughs> to be fair. Oh, wow, I didn't expect this. Um, like, be seen on Twitter just like every like couple of days or something there'd just be another PB I'm like yeah I don't know anything because I don't know what Pedro's saying because it's all in Japanese but congrats on the PB um we already talked about your remember we talked about waves uh yeah, all these, <laughs> I think we've talked about almost all of these <laughs> we talked about almost all of these yes except for uh, in diploma Joker uh, and Pulse with a four fifty seven forty six Another another sub five for Joker. Yeah, me and Greta also got a five oh one really recently. Don't think it's been verified yet, but that did happen. Congratulations. Thank you. It's great. Um, and then <laughs> then AOP, I assume these were all the other runners other than Edica's run. Uh oh. yeah, I think Razor got that PB during the race as well. I think I don't think Keith or Filthy Scrub got theirs in, in our the race. Ah. Oh. Well no, it was recent. Uh, never mind. Oh wait, oh well oh wait no. No, still on the twentieth. Still in the month, we're fine. <laughs> didn't get didn't get didn't get tricked this time. We're good. Um I would say eighth place for Truly with a four oh nine point four, but Truly's got a PB recently with a four oh nine 08 07 yeah, low 409 
surely been playing so much Candy Floss lately. Yeah. Would, ex seven. would expect to see some more PBs quite soon. Yes. Okay, once a uh, 408 at least, I believe. You can definitely get. Oh, well, I mean, apparently uh, it was a double crit on yeah. the on that cost Oh, it. yeah. His newest PB would be 6, I believe. I'm not saying it's your fault, Greta. I know it was like just before the podcast, it's fine. It was not going to be on here anyway. <laughs> Telling me you're not verifying runs instantly? Oh my god, why Can't Why? Believe... Why his Can't Ambers and Gressa's run not being verified by Gressa, Gressa? Yeah, come on. Despicable. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, world record on any percent shield English Turbo from Pedro, a 413.01. Then just behind in second, Morgrim with a 4.14.34. Uh, oh, is that why you never verify my runs then, Greta? Feel sad. Uh, fourth place for Fury, uh, Fury, Furist? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Furious. Furious. I think people just call him Fury. Fury. Yeah, normally I would say Fury, but I I felt compelled to say the ST. Yeah, he's the one that made the auto music program. Yes, that was that was like four months or five months ago at this point, right? Uh, maybe I don't remember. I feel like it's been at least a couple months. Yeah, it's, it has been a bit. Um, but yeah, any percent glitchless, brilliant diamond, English no turbo music off fourth place. That's the only that's the only VDSP run. That's interesting. Um Legends of Arceus. The only one we haven't mentioned. 39th for Taco Rob. Today 751.42. Game 2, Gym Leader Castle Round 1. Black Scal with a 217.06. I see everyone has moved on from the novelty in Pokemon Snap with the uh, Switch release because it's meant to be much worse than the original in like we virtual console from my understanding. But still, uh, 26th and 100% for Dalis Arclis, uh, like 2717. That's within four minutes of the world record, that's quite good. New snap, all Pokemon 2.x version, uh, Fate Fire IX with a 450.27. Um, and then also in 80%, in 25th, Crunchy VT with a 254.03. Yo, someone from Pinball! Yo! Defeat Mewtwo Redfield, fifth place for That's Fair Zach with a 52.35. No one runs Pinball. Like the original pinball, like Callum yeah. with that world record completely crushed the game from my understanding. I feel like I've seen like two runs of original pinball like ever and they were like years ago. Yeah, it's very much not run. Um, now, there's not a run on here sadly, but uh, Ruby Sapphire, that's also a great game. People should play that just oh, in I general. Oh, I love I played that so much as a kid. I love that game. I never got to play as a kid, but uh, I really like watching the runs of it. I bought it. I'm terrible at it. So I don't oh, play I'm it. awful. Yeah, I never, yeah, I never so got bad. like close, close to this. <laughs> but it's still cool seeing all the, all the pinball stuff. They got a soft spot, I guess, in my heart. Uh, just like Pokemon Coliseum does. Um, 36th uh, for Swift Lou uh, with any percent a 40852. Um, I think she's gotten a better time. I think she's like a 403 now on her second run. Would not surprise me. Um, yeah, she just learned that, so. Yeah. Um, ninth place in 80% no snags, Rayquaza Kingdom with a 706 of 14. Uh, first ever speedrun submission, so congrats on that as well. Congratulations, Call it definitely a hard game for you. Yeah, that, that, is, but... that is a choice. That yeah. is a choice that you <laughs> made. And full, full respect for that choice. 
And then also, second place is 100%. Casperus with a 17, 37, 32. That's a very good run. Like, just like finishing the run is like difficult oh, yeah, enough. Finish, yeah. But like, that's still like a, like a, a very solid run. And they were very happy about it from the comment, I guess. Uh, Pokemon XE, sixth place for Photo, 89 cents uh, on English with a 428. Well, we already mentioned Rezgo's run earlier. Um, Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, any percent, no quick save, no wonder mail, English, DS, DS, and GBA miscellaneous category. Uh, the lagging gamer with the world record a 326 23. You don't see many people running red rescue team because the GBA version is therefore just much slower from my understanding. Uh, the Shoe Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, second place for Shugumar. Shugumarlil? I would have said just Shug Okay. The three lines at the end. <laughs> they, the one in the middle is a different size and that threw me off. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... It's just whatever. Controllers. Oh, it's just Shigama. Okay. Apparently. Caesar Carmen, new speedrun.com account for Twitch username, Shigama. I don't know. Dang it. It's probably the... It's probably sugar. It's just sugar. Whatever. I'm the words. Beat Dark Ride, No Wonder Mail, Japanese BU, uh, Sugar Mo with the 75738. 38. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, uh, fourth gen with the 80% Wonder Mail, English 3DS slash new 3DS time, 135644. That was just a playthrough. With some speedrun shots, like, but it was mainly a playthrough. It was a fun stream that I was watching. Um, when did this one happen? All right, I'll miss this one from Pokemon Ranger. Any percent in Japanese, which Japanese is the fastest, like, that's the one most people run. Uh, Midori Kaze with the world record a 232.49. I assume Looks neither like of you yesterday, so. yeah. Uh -huh. I I assume neither of you know much about the range of speedruns. Uh, no. I, That's the one where you like circles on your. I've yeah, played right. the game about three, like three. I've completed it like three times. I tried to learn the speedrun like seven years ago, <laughs> and then I lost my stylus, so then didn't. <laughs> Sad times. Very sad. Um. So, I also don't know anything about the speedrun. I just love the game. That's why I brought it up. Um. But it's a similar story to you, I did try learning, not this one, I tried learning Shadows of Valmir, because that's my favourite Ranger game. I never and... played that one. I only oh, had... so good. I had Guardian Signs, but I never had Shadows of Valmir. Never played Guardian Signs. It's um... long, really long. <laughs> I've never yeah. beat it. Um... Yeah, I, I, that, that's a long speedrun. Like, Shadows of Valmir is also a very long speedrun. Um, but also... Just a thing to know. Save in that game. You do not save. You just you just go back to the beginning. <laughs> you have to start again. Oh, what the heck? I yeah. just want to point out that seeing clockwise circles, not counterclockwise. Must be left-handed. I, 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 I'm right-handed. I just do clockwise. Really? Really? I... Def I definitely do. It's been, it's been a while. In my head, I'm, I'm pretty sure I used to do. You can't see me right. You can't. No one can see me right now. But I'm doing circles with my hands, trying to think. What <laughs> oh yeah, do. same. I'm actually like doing it on <laughs> my like on my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like clockwise was weird. I don't like it. Counterclockwise game. Oh yeah. All right, cool. yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've, my my brain is just broken now. I don't remember what I used to do. I feel like I used to do clockwise though. I don't know, I'm a bit weird, I guess. Um, there is conquest, one hundred percent, as mentioned earlier. Fair play. Um, 
Ayun is not here, so... Actually, Amber, you... I mean, I don't know how much you've done fan game-wise and from hack-wise. Um, but I know you have done at least Blue Kaizo. Uh, literally just Blue Kaizo. I don't know right. anything else. I've Fair never enough. heard of Pokemon type while, and I'm, I re got reminded of Black and Blue PETA from seeing it here. I haven't thought about that game in, like, ten years. I feel like there's always one run every podcast. Black there, and Blue PETA. There is. <laughs> It really is. You're not wrong. I don't oh, know it's why. never a dead game. Okay. Uh... Actually, actually more active than Gen 2 sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Poker Clicker, not as many runs as normal. I don't remember how many there was last month, to be fair, but uh, Poker Clicker, a couple of runs there by Yepe. Um, Pokemon Radical Red. Uh, Q Toro with a world record, any percent normal slash codes, 4, 16, 10. Um, I don't know if a new patch was, I guess a new patch has uh, come out at some point since Q Toro beat, oh, uh, since Q, uh, since Q Toro set their 3.01 time. So, congrats there. Age That's for instant HP bars, I guess, for another record. Oh, I did not even read that in the comment, but yeah. Yeah, boy. Category extensions. Many custom starters have been done once again. Um, Enderborn with all of them. I'm going to say Enderborn. Uh, in particular, shout out to the Articuno one. A 145.21. No particular reason, I just picked Articuno because it's not a normal traditional custom stuff. Maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know what the custom starter meta is. What I people route. No idea either. Softlock activity. I think oh. Bouncy set out on a mission to do all the softlocks in PSR. Nice. What was it? There's... I remember talking to Shed about this. I think I talked about this to him at GTQ. And when I say talk to him about it, he, he just mentioned that I think there's only, I think it's like Gen 6, it was all like the Switch games, I guess. It was only Gen 6 where they couldn't find a softlock, like XY, I think. Oh, there was, there was something like that. And then like Shen just went like, but like the point was like, Shen had like the idea of doing like a, a Gen 1 through 8. Oh no, yeah, it was like a Gen 1 through 8. Trying softlock again. But there was just one generation that didn't work. I think it was Gen 6. So if someone can find a Gen 6 one, you've given Shen content. Gen 6 softlock is not being able to find Bunnelby. And then <laughs> oh, poor, poor, poor head Bob during the marathon. 24 encounters. 24, 24 encounters. That was softlock something. on Route 1. Or Route 2. I know a bit of XY now. <laughs> you know more than I know. I would not be able to tell you. You could have said the, you could have said whichever one was wrong, and I would be like, yes. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Yellow, all main pokes, Mr. Mime, Green Mixtape, 22508. What compelled you to do that? I have to ask. Mr. Mime of all choices. Um... Oh yeah, uh, the crystal starts for gold, silver, crystal. Uh, they got into text and auto mash, and that saved like twenty minutes now. They're good for them. Um, oh, I don't know. With the manipulous fire red leaf green world record, a two oh nine oh two. And then all main pokes, and then and again with the world record, a 20503. Rushmore with the Emerald Catch them all, 213 catches, uh, and 91239. Okay, see, that's how we should name them. That we should name just the number. For like, I, I'm okay which. with that. <laughs> that is how we should. Either way. Oh, wait. Vincentos run's not here yet. It's not verified, I guess. We did uh, a all ribbons on one Pokemon run. An emerald. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. 
that'll be in the next podcast. Hopefully so. Was that this school's great? I missed that conversation, I think. I probably actually was oh, in was that. A, I was probably was, in that conversation and forgot about it. It was a let's go discussion, I think. Oh, that is why I did not see Very that. briefly. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's go and understand the, why you wouldn't have the numbers. But for Sword Shield, we should have the numbers. That makes sense. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. It does, not, it does not matter at all. Anyway, because this podcast has almost hit two hours at this point. Um, Pokemon Diamond manipulates any percent the line films in second place with a 10241. Uh, Etienne as well, the 13th of a 10912. Lime. With the... Oh, sorry, Lime got um, not a good hidden power, but he got no encounters before Rourke, which is uh, certainly a way wow. to get a good one. <laughs> I wish that could be me. Imagine if he got the good hidden power. Sheesh. Interesting. Did a flash card as well. Oh yeah, flash card kind of like saves time because no reason. It just saves faster. You don't have to wait like ten seconds each time. It something might have to be done about it, but kind of lazy. Yep, fair. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bouncy with the. Uh... The 522 soft lock, soft lock the game. Gamba, Gamba, Gamba. Yeah, it's like a 1 in 16, I think, on the final turn to soft lock or not. Because you have to, like, hit Starly from yellow HP to dead. And if you hit it to red, then it flees. Oh, is that, how, is that how you soft lock the game? You defeat yeah, it? Yeah, you have to kill it before it flees. Interesting. If you... Or... No, if you die, if you die, sorry. Uh, yeah, if, if the Starly kills you with a 116 high roll, yeah, that's how it is. I'm surprised they missed that one. They, they probably should have got that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Platinum, Baton Pass, was there a race? No, there was not a race. Yeah. There was, oh, there may be a race. There was like a race every day for like five days straight, and it was like. Oh. I don't know why I played in so many of them, but yeah. Worcester made the route and we all played it. It seemed like there's a new new find every day. Yeah. <laughs> I got the first uh, sub 5 and then well, me and Worcester got sub 5 in the same race. And the Worcester kept doing attempts with a new route. I didn't keep playing. But, yeah. It's fine. Fair enough. Yeah, Worcester with that world record a 451.20. Booker in second with a 458.25. Congrats. I'll see in third with a 54906. Then uh, Jimmy in uh, Jimmy in the five uh, Jimmy in fourth with a 55025. Also in Manipolis 8% Alwo with a 31930. Worcester has also made a route for Arkle Soul Silver Baton Pass. So expect some runs of that soon. Fair, fair. Old main pokes, Billy. Yeah, Billy. Who's Wait, Billy? Oh, <laughs> what is Electrode? Billy? Billy. Billy is a trade of Voltorb that you get in Olivine City. You have to trade a Krabby for it, so you have to like get the good rod and then fish for a Krabby. But Billy is the god. We all love Billy. All Over right. in DSPSR, Repentus made the route for the Billy Alt main. Finally, Big there's actually the like comment. a, there's actually like a barrier blitz going on for Billy right now. <laughs> it's very yeah. right. fair play. A uh, couple of people. Shout outs to Billy. Four six ten, balling is the comment, which makes a lot more sense <laughs> now. Um, second place in boot catching contest for Alwo, fifty twenty two, and then fifty forty three for Bouncy. Took a bound pass and black two white two. All ten thirty one. Good run. Uh it's okay. I, I did this after being done with plat bat pass and uh, yeah. I could have gotten record, but decided not to go for the I had my times in white two. This classic white two moments. 
you know, what's going on with it. I've got an XY bathroom pass. There's been a lot of bathroom paths. Headbob with a yeah, 5 plus weird 551. Yeah, just a weird pass Headbob saw the DS one, so I was like, yeah, let me get a numbs. This run is actually good, I think. Don't... I don't recall, but I think he said it's good. He's happy with it. That's all that matters. XY baton pass is like a lot, like a lot more cleaner, I guess, because you have the shared EXP share. Oh uh, yeah, that would help a lot. So you get to use like the main pokes for most of the run still. Actually, with the alone on Marowak, all main pokes, a 32620, I heard that's an awful run. At least at yeah. parts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there was a thing where I, like, forgot to, like, put the raided, like, thing in his party right away to have it gain experience. But it ended up still being fine. If it was fine, it's all fine. Uh, Old maze without eternity's Zygarde. Okay. And in Japanese, you can side with a 40743. Uh, that is, that is, I'm curious to watch that right now. Yeah, that's actually, I actually want to see that one now. <laughs> that is an interesting one, because yeah. that would mean you'd have to go into... DLC area, you'd have to Don't. get through the Suicune one, or just like get out of it quickly. And then I guess hope there's a Zygarde that pops up, or maybe it's just the Zygarde was the first one that popped up. I, and I, I don't even know like where get the Zygarde. Like, do you, or do you get it like in Dynamax get... and <laughs> Ventures? Um, yeah, it'd be in Dynamax Adventures. You can't get it anywhere else. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so you Japanese runners wanted to do that and ask uh, the cast. Yeah, fair. They want to do it, they want to do it. <laughs> Agri extensions for a reason, you can pretty much do anything, I guess. Um, there's a million trade all mains. I don't know which one of these are new and which ones are not new at this point. Um. Buffon, no, Buffon's not a new one, I don't think. Uh, I don't actually, let's see, none of the ones I see yet I think are new. I think people have done Bolton before. I'm not sure about Haxorus. Haxorus, oh, I think that's an old, I know someone did a route, I don't know if someone did the run. Oh. Uh. Oh, apparently there was a Blizzmas from Gresses. In third place, a 354.57. Oh, yeah. There's a fight in Glacier on Rat where it's the it's the one in Rose Tower where you fight the Stunfisk and the Steelix. And basically what you do on that fight is you just spam Blizzard. So if you hit both of them, you just one turn the fight. Mm. And Greta missed all five Blizzards. Nice. And had to struggle the fight to win. Because <laughs> you have choice specs on. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is that sounds like one of the fights of all time um I don't, I don't think any of those are actually new uh I think Hackers might be new oh well, mm, yeah. no Hackers is not new yeah, yeah head bob it is indeed one of the fights of all time and I'm not saying best, I'm just saying one of them. <laughs> it is a fight that has happened. Yes, exactly. Um, yo, Bouncy with a flex on Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> 1555. Also, again, like, this was a while ago, but shout out to Pokehot who just came in and took all of them. Like, all the flex on world records. Like, shout out. Um, Headbob in second with a 127. 20. I didn't know you were really garish through Headbob. Yeah, I've seen, I saw Headbob and, and Truly run that, and they're getting like pretty. The Truly Cord. Yeah. Truly Cord people. Is there, is there any like Bob new routing stuff 
and get Urshifu. Um, there was um, a there Aquatic was a found like that you can get like a quick pull or something, and then save uh, seven seconds. It's no, it's not really even. Not getting quick pull. I don't know. What was it? It was. You found a seven second patch save. It's the you buy the netball, you buy the netball yeah. in the Pokemon. Oh, and you just get the, you get the. Pokemon, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. There's also stuff from Spider Sea like a month or two ago where, um, you can just pick up a mint in the Isle of Armor and you just apply that to Kofu. Oh my god, but, that actually I I, I can't know. even describe how much better that makes it. <laughs> I, yeah, that makes it a little better. It's also so big brain. I'm kind of annoyed that. I did not think of that because it seems like so it's like because it's like it's it's always been there. Yeah, like uh, no no one ever thought to think oh pick up the mint. The I didn't, well, I know nothing about the game that we started tutoring, so I haven't I didn't even know there was a mint there. What kind of yeah. mint do you get? It's so it's typically been a serious mint every time according to Spider. I've well, not the tried it. Serious either. mint. It's the best yeah. mint. The thing serious is what gamers. serious gamers indeed. Um, there's meant to be like three mints in like that rough area though. I don't know if, but like, that one seems to always be there, and then the other two I don't know if they've been looked at. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, there is. Oops, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Just um, just just having a mint, having a guarantee series, especially for Kofu. Like the huge actually. Yeah. I might I might go back to that category then. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, just I know that's like a that's like a backup, right? Just um, if you get oh, bad nature. Yeah. Uh, at least I uh, grab just for that color. Uh, that the only color is serious. That's the only one because it's a neutral nature. They've all just set to serious. That's why there isn't like the other neutral natured ones, I guess. If that's yeah. what you're thinking, um, but no, yeah, it's a great, it's a great run. I prefer don't get Urshifu still because that's same. <laughs> yeah, because that's just it's the same run, but you don't have to grind blissies. Yeah, it's not on the leaderboard. I don't think there's a category for it, but I want to give a shout out to Spider C doing don't get Urshifu alt main double. I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> In which he. <laughs> Got a random uh, XL candy in Crown Tundra and got his Wulu from like level 10 to 31 and then did Isle nice. of Armor with that. Nice. Why, why is that not on the leaderboard? <laughs> it's, it's incredible. I don't know. That's I brilliant. love that run. I had to set it out. That fair shout out. Fair shout out. Uh, <laughs> Okay, um, Ed Bob and Zypotic in Dynamax Adventures as well. Tucker! You doing Dynamax <laughs> Adventures as well and getting world records? I had the record before this. Oh, so yeah, I'm you had it with first the... and second. Yeah, yeah, you have it with Wartab, don't you? Yeah, yeah with Wartab and Uber Mage and Ekman yeah. for four player. Yeah, we did this last night. Um, it's just a snipe the third and fourth player record. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. Guess it, I know. More. I... Oh, sorry. Keep more has got item. Town flame. We like we always went for Kartana because Kartana has crap spit up and has a quad weakness to fire. That's our that's our yeah. trick. Yeah. Also, guess it. I I know how we can classify it, and we classify it by moving the normal. Uh, Power of Two Fists runs to the main balls. It will happen. It will happen one day. <laughs> it will happen. There's something to argue for. Um. Uh, world record in the boss rush from Legend Arceus. That's a name. Um. They got 10 minute and 58 second time. I really don't know how to even go with Wait. that. Let me look up the leaderboard so I can see it in like a higher quality. It's uh, H1A2R1R6Y. Just... <laughs> if you need a Congratulations. Your password.
<laughs> Look away from the hair. Oh, wow. What? It's a name. If you don't, if you take out all the numbers, it says Harry. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is. I did. I could not decipher that. <laughs> yeah. Genius. Fair play. Yeah. Good. Greta is a genius. genius. Yep. And then last last couple of runs, Pokemon Stadium Kyrie Ascensions, uh, Kids Club, Stadium Two, Easy One Win, Automated Alligator with a thirty second point four one time, and then Stargazer Round Two in Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, so Stargazer Round Two transfers, Miscellaneous in Kyrie Ascension. Okay, um, Peas. With a 156.53. That is the leaderboard roundup done. <laughs> Yay. And all the tangents that we had with it. Um, Good one. Amber, thank you for joining us on the podcast today. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> thank you for joining. Uh, oh, I, oh, thank you for saying yes the day before because I forgot to ask you earlier. I forgot to ask any like people earlier in general, and think of who to ask. Um, Tucker, okay. how is it? Yeah. Be, how is it hosting for the first time? Ah, uh, it was nice. <laughs> we'll be back, hopefully discussing another one of my runs. <laughs> good, good to hear uh, that we've not scared you away, or that I've not scared you away. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, um, follow Amber. Follow Tucker, follow myself, follow Etiquette and I. Um, Etiquette was unable to make it, but yeah, for, for reasons. Ian was not able to make it because he's just somewhere in the Canadian wilderness, as far as I'm aware. Not, like, actually being serious with that, he's on holiday, like, camping, I think. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, who'll be here next month? I don't know. Um,. I, I actually just don't know because I haven't asked them yet. Um, the next podcast will be on October 1st. Uh, <laughs> I need to take... Wait, okay, is Total Drama Island in the Canadian wilderness? Is that actually the thing? This is people who Wait, are what? watching this on YouTube. Gressa's just... I is taking part in Total Drama Island. Thank you, Gressa. I've, I think I've seen, I saw one episode of Total Trauma Island. It was like 4am at my friend's house and just put it on. <laughs> I don't remember anything. It's been years since I watched it. And I, I never got to watch like the end of it. I watched like the middle, it was always the middle episodes that were shown in the UK for some reason. I, I don't know why. It, it was good though, I, I liked it. But anyway. Uh, what was that? <laughs> but yeah, the next podcast, first of October. Um, is there any last things that anyone wants to say? I don't think so. I think that's all. Uh, I think that's it for me. All right. In that case, I hope you all have a rest of your day or evening wherever you are. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.